Taipei District prosecutors responded to public uproar over the military police's search of a private residence which had offered sensitive documents related to the 2-2-A incident for sale. Prosecutors summoned the military police who initiated the search in for questioning as well as the owner of the documents. Two military police involved in the seizure of sensitive documents related to white terror were brought in for questioning by district prosecutors. Mr. Wei, the owner of documents who attempted to sell them online, was also questioned. Many have been surprised at an incident reminiscent of the 228 incident and Taiwan's brutal repression of dissent could happen again. They are the military police, not district prosecutors, so the whole thing is reminiscent of the white terror. It's like a part of history that has been directly transplanted into 2016. These documents may be related to state secrets some 40 to 50 years ago. But according to the classified National Security Information Protection Act, state protection for such documents can extend for no more than 30 years. While this period of protection may have passed long ago, some worry that such searches and interviews may have happened in the past. If today there was such a case where someone wanted to auction such materials, then in the past weren't there more archives that were disposed of in a similar way. I think it's frightening how this was handled. While the military police are holding the documents owned by Mr. Wei, two curators of an exhibit on the 228 incident and subsequent white terror have been gathering related documents, hoping the truth will eventually be revealed.